she's, uh, she's a legend, really, in her own lunchtime, as they say. I mean, mm. she's, she, this woman packs so much in a day. She's, she's always got, she's brimming full of ideas. She's always got five or six things on, on the go. And she is responding to her girlfriends in her own life mm -hmm. who are telling her things that she said I have to write about this you yeah. need to know about this and she describes girlfriends as her passion project she wanted to do it for so long um, and three stonking roles for the women actually not bad roles for the guys honestly mm -hmm. really really not bad at all and they were very happy to to play second fiddle they they said yeah. um, so uh, yeah, it was a um, quality project and all set up in in Leeds in and York. Was she there? Did she come down oh, when you uh, when Kay, you were actually, uh, Kay yeah, directed full, uh, the first block, which right. was the first oh, three. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, she wanted to Absolutely set that full. up. You know, she's been wanting to do this for so long. And so. what I what I really love about the story is that it's kind of following female friendships. You see that obviously they met when they were younger, but mm. that, that life kind of went off in separate ways with mm. their children or whatever, or mm. careers or whatever it was, and maybe they didn't spend as much time together. Yeah. But the fact that none of that actually matters, because ultimately when you, know, when you need each other... And it's the yeah. best thing, isn't it? Those, those friends that stay with you, you know that you can just touch base and you're, you're back, really, where yeah. you were. I mean, we've, we've had that in the first episode, this, the setup and all the things that happen. I mean, it's like a farce and the action continues in this one. I mean, Sue has a birthday that she doesn't want to happen. No numbers are mentioned, but it's, it's just like in her head, it's a bad one, right? Yeah. You know? Well, looking and at you and looking at Sue, surely it must be 40. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, the the man who's marrying Sue's mum actually says that, you know, oh, she says, don't look a day over. Well done. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, you got it spot on. <laughs> Brownie points for you. Me and uh, Brownie hey. points. <laughs> My rabbit's driving. Um, and it, I mean, it must have been wonderful working uh, all together, actually. I mean, you sort of see the friendship comes through on screen, but having you three women together like yeah. that must have been brilliant fun. Yeah. And, and uh, actually, a lot of uh, women on the crew, which is it, it's happening more and more now, which is lovely and, um, and, and great fun, all, uh, great fun all together, mm. you know, a nice atmosphere on set, yeah. so that was great. And Sue, the character, yeah. um, she um, she's dedicated her life <laughs> to to this popular uh, bridal magazine. Mm. Um, she editor of it, and mm. then is cast aside. Mm. Uh, and, and, and it's you know sort of by her boss, who is also a married lover, Anthony Head. Yeah. Good role, as you say, for a guy, yeah. as you say. Yeah. Uh, but so her, well. she's one of those people that looks like she's sort of calm on the, uh, uh, above, but her life is actually falling apart. You think she looks calm? I think she, well, there are part times when she looked reasonably calm. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, because she has always considered herself, and people have told her that she's great at her, her job, and and there's a sort of abrupt dismissal, and she she loses so many things in the first episode. It's it's like, thank you, God. It's somebody got it in for me. What's going on? Mm. Um, but uh, there's lots more. Mm. There's lots more to we've come. Read, uh, we've read some of the synopsis for future. Yeah, yeah. A, it is extraordinary. It's a great story. But she is dismissed on the, on the grounds that she's... Uh, a bit long in the tooth to be doing this job and sh she says not happy. quite rightly i'm sorry if i'm good at my job what's wrong with uh, carrying on mm. um something else that is completely different all of this is uh the, the movie stronger um, oh yeah and i mean this is quite quite something and this is jake dillenhorn it's a real life story mm. of uh, jess bowman who lost both of his legs in the boston marathon bombings mm. in 2013. So um so I mean, you really quite contrasting stories you've got here, haven't you? For you, two completely different projects. Absolutely. When you're choosing things, yeah. is that something you like to do? Yeah, I, I'm, usually it's something that I'm a little bit frightened by, or a lot frightened by, you know, and I don't know quite what it's going to be, and I, have, I think I haven't done this before, so I really want to take a crack at this. And so it's Boston Irish, it's, um, you know... Well, the, the accent is... Dysfunctional well, yes, family, fabulous voice coach, fabulous Tim Monick, bless him, bless him. 